Welcome everyone, welcome to Tech Talk Friday and as always we are here to talk technology and today we've got some fantastic guests, in fact we've got four guests today uh, and it's going to be a fun show. Uh, we're still awaiting the arrival of young Ahmad Berhormat Karamjit Singh but uh, don't worry he will always somehow pop up uh, at, a, at a specific time but in the meantime I want to introduce our first guest. Uh, we have with us Benson Chang from Table App. Benson, welcome to the show and super glad to have you with us. Uh, I know even though we don't have Karam with us, but uh, I'll try to make your experience as pleasant as possible. Usually Karam uh, <laughs> tends to um, you know, irritate our guests and make them, make them uh, anxious and so on, but hopefully I have, a less, I have a more calming effect on you. But Benson, tell us a bit about Table App and tell us a bit you know, about what's been happening uh, in your world. Okay. Um... I, hi everyone, I'm Benson from Table App. I started Table App uh, way back on uh, 2013. So until now, it's about uh, seven years old. And at the first beginning, we are providing a, a restaurant reservation system to the uh, restaurant and we target uh, mid to high-end restaurants. And to date, I, we, we already got about uh, 300 plus restaurants uh, across Malaysia including uh, Penang, Johor, KL, uh, KK, Kuchings, yeah. And uh, during the MCO times, uh, we, uh, our restaurant, they request us to uh, roll out a delivery system for them so that they can keep the business uh, going because uh, during MCO, no one can go to the restaurant to uh, dine in, yeah. So uh, we attract pretty much a good uh, a result uh, during that time. And then... Uh, after that, um, we come back and then uh, to the after CMCO, MCO, so the we can see the restaurants uh, business is coming back, and because of a lot of the uh, the customer, they cannot fly, so they can only spend internally. And then uh, most of my restaurant they uh, tell us they increase their average check thirty uh, percent, so their business is actually better before the MCO. Yeah, so, but now uh, because of the CMCO uh, implement again, so uh, it's also, they are also facing a difficult time uh, during this time. And then we also help them to, uh, to, to get more customers, no matter it's a dine-in or deliveries. Yeah. Okay. And, and tell us what's, I mean, I mean, something exciting has happened to you the last couple of weeks, right? I mean, talk, talk to us about that exciting new thing that just happened. Oh yeah, so uh, we we got acquired by a Taiwan-based company called Fun Now. So uh, we start the discussion uh, before the COVID nineteen happens. Okay. So uh, during that time, we 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 met the uh, representative of the Fun Now, their founders and their investors, and then um, then we to discuss about the potential merger during that time. So uh, after that. Um, have a couple of weeks of discussions. We received the terms from them. Then uh, after that, uh, Chinese New Year and COVID happened. So yeah, it dragged yeah. the deals. Yeah. So, but uh, after that, we, we, we show a pretty uh, good result during uh, the MCO because of uh, we, we, we can quickly roll out the, the delivery system so that uh, it proved that we, no matter how bad the situation is, our table app uh, people, our team still able to react faster. So it uh, uh, to firm that this uh, give them a confident uh, our is a is a good merger. And yeah. and and what I, I mean so I mean it's very interesting because I think a lot of companies um, are looking for deals, uh, especially now uh, you know in times in yeah. terms of trying to survive and so on. Well, why do you think you were successful? I mean, what, one of the things you stated was that you had some traction, uh, right? That you yeah. were able to show, right? Um, what were the other significant reasons why you succeeded in uh, in getting this deal across the line? Uh, basically, it's because of the relationship between uh, the merchant and us is very strong because for the past seven years, we always support uh, them about our, our, our service, our systems to help them to uh, streamline their, their reservation process, let their guests easy to make a reservations, no need to uh, call them and then waiting and then uh, to confirm the reservations. Then, so for that, uh, we, we are kind of the restaurant partner. So okay. if they want something help, they were always looking for us and then to discuss what can we, we, we uh, assist them. So during that time, we received quite a lot of call of the restaurant 
uh, asking us to start a delivery system to them. So that's why we partner with uh, the delivery partner like uh, Grab Express, uh, Mr. Speedy, Lalamove to, to, to help them streamline their, their delivery uh, process also. Yeah, so a lot of restaurants, they, they, yes, during the, the MCO, they're thinking a lot of way to do the delivery beside using like those uh, uh, grab food, food panda. So they also accept like phone call from the customers mm. and then calculate. They use a uh, Lala Move to calculate what is the delivery fee and then ask the customer to bank into them. So the manual ex uh, job is a lot for accepting these uh, delivery uh, orders. So we provide them a system to help them uh, also help their customer easy to make a, a delivery order. So I think this is the most uh, important one uh, we help the restaurant to build. Mm. And 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 uh, I, again, I what, how I mean, how is the deal structured? Um, you know, are you? I assume it's a it's a, a small stake in your organization. You still have total control of your organization, or can you talk us through the deal a little bit so that you know uh, as okay. others are? Yeah. Okay. So uh, the deal is a hundred percent. Uh, our Tebab existing shareholder is selling hundred okay. percent. So wow, to okay. in, so a, yeah in. In exchange, we we got uh, some cash out and then also mm -hmm. uh, some share on the Fundal company. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, so essentially, uh, you belong to you completely hundred percent belong to this new company that that's acquired you guys, like? Yes. Yeah. So now I I will be handling uh, both the Fundal and Tebe operation in Malaysia. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, so this is a complete takeover. Huh? So, Karam, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, glad that we could uh, finally have you with us. <laughs> uh, so, Karam made it, guys. Uh, and and I see some comments coming. You know, uh, you know, hi Benson. Uh, and then somebody saying, hey, where's Ngai you know, We we need her. We need her, right? So Ngai is coming up soon. Don't worry, guys. Uh, but but we have Benson in the house at this point in time from Table App. He just had. Uh, he just got acquired. Um, and Karam, you have a couple of questions for Benson? Yeah, no, I think it's uh, what is significant is that Benson is a, is a single entrepreneur. And, you know, that's that's a very tough journey when you're, uh, when you're running the business on your own. I know he told me once that uh, the wife helps him or so. So that's fine. You, you expect your better half to always be there for you. But, you know, uh, running a single man show is, 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 is not easy. And something your wife doesn't help you with, huh, Karam, which you always complain, right? So. Uh, no, no, no. She actually helps me a lot for FOC, which she complains about. Not about helping me, but the FOC part. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so it's significant that what is done. And I think uh, what is uh, underappreciated is that, so, you know, the this is during the, the, uh, the pandemic period, yet this Taiwanese company fund now has decided it's still valuable to acquire uh, a Benson and it's a, it's a yeah. pa pa partial. You got they, significantly, they got cash out, yeah? And then he's got, now he's got a stake in a Taiwanese company, which is in three countries. And I think they, they raised about uh, five or 10 million US dollars. So it's, it's, there's plenty of upside for Benson or so, which is quite good. Yeah. Uh, so it's a huge, it, it is not well appreciated by the market. So what is the chief is amazing, I think. And that's why yeah. I wanted him on the show to talk about it or so. And I spoke to one of his investors. He doesn't know who. And the investor said that they they were they are very happy with Benson because uh, he did a very good job in uh, uh, in getting the company to become profitable. So it's very tough to be profitable in this space, right? And Benson managed to achieve that to his credit. And you know, uh, getting a good deal, you know, at a time like this is incredible. Now he's in a regional play. I don't know the intentions of Fana, how big they're gonna grow. But I just uh, wanted to, to bring him on the show to for people to see that even if you're a one-man uh, entrepreneur, but you work like crazy and Benson works his ass off, you know, you can at some point, uh, you know, uh, uh, make it work. And, you know, by the way, he he, he hasn't told you that when he, when he got this, uh, so this Taiwanese company came when he already had an offer on table from another regional company. And mm. then, uh, so he had to tell the Taiwanese people, guys, there's a deadline, you, you need to come in, you're going to act fast. So then they, they agreed to, to the valuation, of course, better than what a Singapore company or a regional based company out of Singapore is giving him. So it's, it's significant that other people saw value in him. Also. So, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's amazing. And also, I guess, Benson, for you, 
uh, you you know this this space very well you know because to for a lot of companies in the space re reservations right but he decided to play in a small niche you know and i think he said he had 300 restaurants and you automatically yeah. we say what only 300 uh, how to make money where's the value in that but he has managed to make it work so sometimes you go and go into a niche to be out of the red ocean play right and he, he's managed to do that so uh, and also significantly our taxpayer money has been critical for him until he hasn't mentioned it uh, and he told me that at the point where he almost wanted to give up, uh, Cradle came to his rescue and Cradle, he got a half a million grant from Cradle in 2015, I guess, right? Right, Benson? Yeah. 2015. So uh, uh, tell us uh, how important that was and why were you on the verge of giving up at that point? And then how life became so much better once, you know, the Malaysian government, the Malaysian taxpayer decided to invest in you and uh, back you up. I, and, and and are you going to be giving back the, the money to the Malaysian taxpayer <laughs> now that you've exited? No, just kidding. But, but no, yeah, that's a good question. That question should have come from our audience, line, not from you. <laughs> 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 yeah, Benson, you have the floor for 30 seconds to a minute. <laughs> okay, so uh, during that time, uh, we got our first uh, investment from Crystal Horse, um, Hanson To, and also uh, mm -hmm. Catherine Ventures. This is our mm -hmm. uh, first investment. And then we are on about a six-month runway to finish our cash. So that time, uh, luckily, uh, we get the credit grants. So it gives us the feel to uh, grow uh, more. And then uh, after that time, uh, we finally uh, can see our cash flow a bit uh, positive. So mm. sometimes up, sometimes negative. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but that time is our turning point of, uh, yes, we should stick on our uh, goal because in previous, we got also um, expand to other country. Mm. We expand to uh, Thailand, but it doesn't work out because of the cultures, because of the competition. So um, after six months, we cut down our Thai operations and oh, then we focus fast, back. Huh? So that, that means you actually try to expand to Thailand. And after six okay. months, you said that your, your expectation of the market is very different from the reality. Yeah. Uh, and and you cut, but you, you have a board, right? Did your, your board, you've got some experience in very seasoned investors there. Uh, was it a decision you took on your own? You 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 asked your board for counsel or so, and and you know they said, yeah, you better not just focus on Malaysia first and be a stronger number one in Malaysia. Yeah, of course we got a uh, get consult uh, from our board and then to uh, to see what is the next for the next plan or these things. Mm. Yeah, so and we think that uh, we faster uh, cut down the expenses on the mm. sites. So that's okay. why we can focus back on the Malaysia to make it uh, profitable. What year was this Thailand? Um, if I'm not mistaken, the 15? Thailand is on no, it's on the twenty uh fifteen. Oh, that early, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just share with the audience and the listeners the uh, two key lessons you learned from your Thai expansion. Two key lessons. Um, first is um we found a a, a partner there. So we we didn't um we, we go there like every two months. Okay. Then we leave the operations uh on the our, our partner desk. But um to find out if if you want to really expand to one uh, country, you have to be a physical permanent staff stay there from your team. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. So it's more it you can make more uh, quick decisions, react to the market, and then okay. to expand more. Yeah, because um from Malaysia, we know what we can do. But yeah. for our partner, uh, they didn't experience the previously, so they don't know how uh, to react when some something happens. Mm. Yeah, okay, and so also the cultures, uh, booking culture also very different compared to the uh, Thailand and uh, Malaysia is because of sometimes um, they don't do reservations because of the traffic jam. When they do a reservation on 7 p.m., maybe they reach the restaurant already 9 p.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They, they, they're not using the sky train. So <laughs> the, for Thailand, uh, one last question. For Thailand, which is the, the drink of choice when you're networking, doing business? Is it vodka? Is it uh, Thai whiskey or, 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 you know, Japanese whiskey or anchor beer? Mm. Chang, chang. Co la. Co coconut Thai. 
<laughs> hi, okay, there you go. So, so I, I think, uh, Vesa, as we close off, I, we, we got a couple more guests yeah. coming on today. Yeah. So yeah. We've got a very tight show. Um, but if you could leave us with one nugget of wisdom, right? Uh, I think a lot of entrepreneurs, the, the struggle is the exit, right? When yeah. do we exit? How do we exit? Who do we exit with to? And, and uh, how do we continue to be? I mean, in your case, right? You build something, you manage to exit successfully, but you get to continue working on the yes. thing that you love. Uh, and your baby, uh, but in a very different capacity, right? Uh, mm. So what advice can you impart to the rest of the entrepreneurs out there, you know, who, who are thinking, you know, on, on this whole concept of exiting? Uh, is this something they should be thinking of or it should be just something like, like you said, like, something that happens naturally and uh, and just, mm. uh, you know, you continue to pursue your bigger goal. So what, what are your final thoughts? I think uh, for, for me, I'm thinking is um, you don't think about exit or uh, your exit plan, all these things at the first beginning, you're first trying to uh, solve what the problem you are going yep, to solve yep. and then keep perfecting it, become the leader on the that page. So okay. that's Table App Do. We, we are the leading uh, reservation, restaurant reservation uh, app in Malaysia. Mm. And then um, and when timing is good and opportunity come, automatically will, 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 will exit and then also and, yeah yeah and also we need to uh, jump on it right when the time comes yeah and also because of uh why we accept uh this acquisition offer is we see the synergy after the merging because That's fun true. now yeah because fun now they are more on the last minute booking and table mm-hmm. is more on the planned advanced bookings mm. so when we also feel the same pain like for example even those myself I suddenly tonight I want to go for a dinner and when I open table app, it's not available more because they are more or close already. But yeah. for the fun now is they are to use the last, last minute deal to fill up the empty table. So it's a different mm. angle. So mm. once yeah. we have it's the after the merger, yeah. Yeah, yeah, then we can provide a total solution for our restaurants. Fantastic. Okay, uh, uh, Roshan, just a quick one, right? Uh, because he didn't answer yeah. the question about you launched 2013, then at 2015, before you got the credit grant, you were you were on the verge of giving up. What 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 were the things that got into your mind when you say, "Ah, yeah, I've done my best." Why why were you entertaining thoughts about quitting? Because couldn't gain traction. Or uh, that time I say I our runway is still left only about three months to six months. Mm. Yeah, then. This is after we cutting down the Thai expenses. Mm. Yeah, so, so like- yeah, so for the three months, then we need to think about what is going to do next if we don't have yeah. yet another uh few Investor coming in. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, that, so, so uh, right. Yeah, right. so luckily we we get the back from the creator the CIP five hundred. Then after that, we managed to raise another round. Yeah. Uh, to 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 continue, and then after that, we become profitable. Wonderful. So a shout out. Yeah, yeah, but but he hasn't answered the the the, am I gonna give back the money to Cradle now that I've exited, right? Um or 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 maybe invest in another uh Malaysian startup, you know, potentially. Yeah, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Pay forward. Yeah, so uh for Cradle One, I think the agreement, yes, uh we we did a do agreement if you get like a cash out or liquidation Mm. or what in within three years, you need to pay back half. Uh, Ooh, okay, three years. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we we already more than three years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you no, but more than three years. You, you have to look at the super fine print in the contract that they'll send <laughs> to you now. After three years, it's seventy percent. You have to pay back. Yes. <laughs> or, Especially you after the budget. A, or you can invest in another startup, like, You know, so we'll, we'll send you some options, like, Benson, to, yeah, to no, use no, no, After the budget just now, with the amount of goodies the government gave out, uh, they need revenue in, man. Now, uh, yes, <laughs> cut, cut tax by one percent for those earning what uh, seventy thousand or below. <laughs> Yeah. All right, there you go. So, you know, we've got a couple of guests. Uh, Benson, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, having you on the show. Um, you know, Benson Chung there from founder of Table App. We've got... Uh, Rochen, uh, Rochen, hold on, hold on. Uh, one, one thing, because he mentioned Hanson To. So, uh, yeah. for those who don't know, uh, uh, another thing that was uh, critical to success of uh, of Benson was that he was part of the Coach and Grow program, which a Proficio organized also with Cradle yes. thing, right? And yes. because of that program, he was assigned Hanson To as his uh, uh, mentor. And Hanson, you know, when you're mentoring somebody, you get to know them, right? As a person, you get right. to know the business, you're advising them. Hanson liked what he's doing. And Hanson then helped him introduce to his adventure, uh, the, the Crystal Horse. And Hanson yeah. in, invested himself as an angel investor. 
so credit to you, Hansen. If anyone knows Hansen, to you know, yeah, uh, give him a, Hansen, give him a uh, Google, fantastic Google, for taking Google the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Google, correct, yeah, for and, taking and the risk right, on, yeah. on Benson, right? Uh, uh, all around, congrats to both of you. Yeah. Well okay. Well, Thanks. Fantastic. And look, like I said, we've got a great show. We've got uh, Nguyen and Dato Sean Xia, who's going to join us in a second. And as Nguyen. they get ready in the studio, we'll just have a quick word from our advertiser and our sponsor, Nicole. Well, thank you, Nicole. And it's back to Tech Talk Friday. And Karam, today we've got some really exciting guests today. We've got two uh, folks that are going to join us. Uh, Yuan from uh, TechFest and also Dato Sean Xia. Uh, and and uh, you want to do an introduction? Yeah. Yeah. You'd like to, so, to, to ramble for about two, three minutes introducing them. Yeah. So uh, no. keep it short this time because we want to hear more of them and less of you. But go ahead, Karam. I only need 30 seconds. You always give me three minutes, you know. I don't need that long. Okay. 30 seconds. Okay. I'm timing you. I, I'm, so, I'm looking at my uh, So, uh, no, no. So, uh, uh, Dato Sean uh, is uh, the deputy chairman of PICOM. And he's actually, uh, I think, the, the, the point person for this uh, uh, huge uh, uh, conference that is being organized uh, based out of from Penang, right? Uh, called Tech Fest, uh, Penang Tech mm -hmm. Fest Live. Uh, you can go to the website, uh, techfest, you know, uh, uh, .com or .my. And you can check it out. Amazing number of, of things are going on. I think it's, it's going to be uh, the biggest uh, tech conference in the country. And actually, their position is a global conference. Uh, it's not a national conference. Uh, the speakers are out of this world. Uh, and huge amount of work is going on to get it together. I, they want to do it as a hybrid event, but with the COVID flare up a bit, although now it's dying down, so maybe there will still be a hybrid event. I'm not sure. We'll hear from them. So I just wanted to get, get uh, Wang Wan and uh, 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 Lao Ngai Yuan and, uh, and uh, Sean on board to, to talk about what the event is about, right? right? And, and to excite readers for the, for, uh, not readers, sorry, uh, listeners, viewers from around the world. Yes. Okay, so so before we get them, there's some comments coming in uh, about Singha or, or, oh, okay. or, or beer. See, you're excited. A Friday night, you excite. You know, Indian fellas talking. No. You, know, you get excited hey, about that's beer, that's beer, that's beer that's and Sky Two. Happy, so we're excited about beer talk. You know, uh, no, this is your culture. This is cultural intelligence, right? So people know when you go to Thailand what to order. Your host will be very happy then. There you go. So okay, done. Done with Thailand. Now let's uh, let's get our guest. Yuan, welcome to the show, and Sean, uh, welcome. Sorry, apologize for how Karam pronounced your name, uh, Yuan, just now. Uh, uh, I, I I'm saying on behalf of Karam. Uh, so Karam, let's no, go. it's fine. It's all good. Uh, I know Karam for like forever. Yeah. As tall as he uh, is, that's how long <laughs> I know him. So there we go. It's, uh, not very long, like Six six <laughs> years, is it? Six feet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, Karam. Let's let's have a good chat. Okay, so uh, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, your mic is on mute, uh, Ngayuan. You can see. Uh, I know because it's a bit noisy where I am. It is, oh, you know, okay. it's Friday, so I want to be. I want to be where the actions are. I'm with a client, so I'm here. I want to be on the stream as well. So we'll make do, okay? Make do, make do. Yeah. So, so tell us about the, the the how this conference came about, and then why is the Penang government also you know the the main champion for this? How become got involved, and more important, why should everyone go log into the website, right? Uh, uh, TechFest and actually uh, buy a Tech ticket. TechFest dot my. TechFest dot my. It's still very cheap. Yeah. Techfest dot my yeah yeah correct techfest dot my yeah it's still very cheap very good deal so talk talk to us about it okay I'm going to let Sean Dato okay. Sean talk a little bit about the journey of how we are doing it uh, in Malaysia in 2020 and then after that I'll take over and talk about why it's important for you to get your yeah. tickets okay, okay. Dato Sean go hi hi everyone good evening um thanks Sean uh hi Karam Karam hi, bro. wow we haven't seen each other you know due to uh, COVID nineteen I think uh, <laughs> we have not seen each other for a year. Same thing. Oh, yeah, think almost a year. Like, yeah. As well. yeah, that was last year I saw you, Russia. Correct. Okay. Um, yeah, great. Um, we started this journey back in 2000, 2014. Okay. Huh? And, wow. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as you know, the BCIT uh, 2008, 2008 was, uh, was organized uh, by PCOM in Malaysia. 
Okay, Sean, yeah, sorry, yeah. WCIT, the, the, a lot of listeners will not know. WCIT means World, World Congress, Congress of Information. Of so it's Congress like the biggest uh, gathering of technology luminaries from around the world, right? Yeah. It is the uh, Olympics of IT. Okay, okay there get, you go. Now we gather together uh, VITSA, which is the World IT uh, Services and Alliances. Okay. okay. We have about 84 members. I am also a board member of that uh, uh, association. Wow, and uh, back in, uh, 12 years ago, we brought a similar event in into KL. It was a big mm. success. You know, we, we brought in about 8 billion worth of ringgit of uh, FDI wow. and investment into Malaysia. And back in about six years ago, 2015-14, uh, we decided to repeat this because mm. of our Wawasan 2020. Okay? okay. 2020 happened to be a, a very special year for us. Yeah, of course. So. We did. Special, okay. We didn't know it's uh, going to be a special year for the whole planet. <laughs> Indeed, it was special now. Yeah. So uh, we, we, we bid uh, and won uh, the rights to organize the event back in 2015. Okay. And uh, we started to organize the event, basically getting all the sponsorship ready. MDAC as our key partner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back in 2018. Uh, and uh, we, after a few rounds of uh, sourcing a, a venue, we decided to organize in Penang. Oh, okay. After a few yeah. rounds, okay. Yeah. Oh no, don't tell me everybody turn you down and you went to Penang. Is it your last now choice? We have about four choices. No, no, no. We have got many choices. Oh, we but Penang, choices. we went oh, four ready. Choices. We oh. brought the yeah, we've got Americans coming in to check the places and they really think that Penang is ready for this world conference. And so that's why we are here. And the important is sponsorship from Penang State Government as well. Mm. We are thankful for that as well. Yeah. Wonderful, and, wonderful. And it, it was great, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm all, from Penang, uh, by the way. I was born in Ipoh, but I grew up in Penang, Penang Lang. <laughs> uh, so you should come to Penang in on the 18th. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I plan to. Yes. Yep, yep. So uh, uh, we, everything ready to go. Uh, we spent about the last uh, 20 months uh, to get the program ready, and we are stuck with pandemics. Okay. Yeah. So uh, again, uh, after a few rounds of uh, meeting among ourselves and the stakeholders, we decided pro, um, to actually postpone the actual WCIT to oh, a later. Okay. However, we have spent millions, okay, to oh, prepare wow. the event. That's why we decided to organize the hybrid event, mm. okay. And thanks to Yuan and the team, we managed to change fast enough, okay, convert whatever originally be a, a physical event now to a, a, a hybrid event that mm. we will involve. We went to talk about a bit more. Uh, all the social media, Astro. If you turn on to Astro today, I am sure you see one of those ads. Okay. Oh, about okay. The best one, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm one of those uh, uh, watching over and over again CNN because of the US election. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 So that's a, a, a quick background. Okay. We are doing it big in Penang. Okay. Oh. And uh, in terms of the, 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 the organizing team, um, pretty much everyone in PCOM. Okay, I put their effort in to organize this event, and okay. we are we are we are indeed okay. We'll organize this event in 2020, 21, and 22. Okay, so I will leave the details to Yuan. Okay, what is um so exciting about this? Yeah, okay, before yeah. Yuan comes on, hey, I didn't know uh, 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 Benson just sent a message to say that you are also a shareholder in Southeast Asia Unicorn, which invested in Table App. Wow, so congratulations, man. So uh, you, uh, when I come to Penang, you got to take me for that Thai beer, okay? Since you got disposable income now. <laughs> uh, I need to talk to Ganesh as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Yuan? Okay, yeah, now tell so, us why people should uh, attend the conference. Okay, so basically the conference, what, what TechFest is all about is making technology conversation a lot more accessible and inclusive. So we don't want to just have this technology conversation to a whole group of people who are already in technology, but want oh, this conversation okay. to be on the street. So that's why we included a broadcast section. So this is going to be broadcasted live on Astro wow. uh, 702 so that everyone can be a part of this conversation. And in addition to that, we are streaming live to more than, right now we have about 60 plus countries signed in. So 60 wow. over countries will be signing in at the same time. But the most important thing actually is not just in the speakers list, we've got amazing speakers uh, from Bacchus Anti of uh, C Group, all the way to um, Nancy Giordano, who's a futurist. And she does talk about really amazing stuff about what to expect in the next two years, the next three years, and what you should be doing. What are our I don't like futurists. I don't like futurists because they, <laughs> no, they, they get you excited. 
they get you excited and they they know that after three months you'll forget everything. Yeah, so it's yeah, a perfect point, job, man. So in my next life, I want to be a futurist. Actually, I don't actually, want to be actually, a actually, photographer. No, actually, you and the real reason, the real reason he doesn't like futurists is because he thinks he's the futurist. So uh, 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 just judging from how he came in just now in that moment. Exactly. I, I like like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, okay, anyway, so, Yuan, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Please go so ahead. the idea here is also to have this conversation around the world. So we have about more than 160 uh, speakers coming on board oh. and more than 200, 200 different sessions. And we are covering all the way from fintech that is going to make um, financial inclusion possible, yeah. all the way to conversations on how regulations are actually really hindering innovation. Yeah. So these are conversations yeah. that will be happening and, and it's very important for everybody to take part. We also want the public to be a part of this. So conversations like, hey, that's a CCTV. So is that my right or whose right is that so one conversations like this to be you know to be accessible to everyone okay. so that you can think about what is my contribution for the future so mm. it's not just a conversation amongst the technologies but yeah, one yeah, conversation yeah. to extend to more people so we're not just preaching to the converter we want to be able to have this conversation with as many people as possible and to inspire more technologies coming out of malaysia we yeah. are working with mdex so the idea of malaysia becoming the heart of uh, technology Bastien. for Southeast Asia is very, very important. So right. people from Latin America is excited about exploring the idea of expanding their business into Southeast Asia. And I think that is not uh, talked about often enough. We've got amazing yeah. investment promotion agencies in this country, but perhaps there are just not enough work done in the space of attracting technology companies into the space. So these are what um, uh, TechFest is about, okay. what WCIT is. So we have expanded to beyond just um, 2020, which is this year, because of the pandemic, yep. we were able to lobby, thanks to Dr. Sean, we were lobbying really hard, and we are going to continue this in 2021 next year, and 2022, oh. the year after. Yes, right. so it's a three years expansion program that wow. we are going to do this, the entire Tech Fest, that's right. We're going to talk about eSports, how eSports is going to enable uh, the narrowing of digital divide. Hmm. Because if you want to be serious in esports, then you better make sure the infrastructure is up to mark so that everybody yep. can play and play as well as the South Korean and the Americans. And the only way to do that is by narrowing the digital divide. So these are hmm. things that we are pushing forward. So we're very excited about it. And the price is cheaper right now. It's $79. Yeah. If you're my best friend, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will give I will give you like an even better deal. So just wow, do it. Wow, wow, wow. That's yeah. crazy. No. It's oh fantastic. my friend. <laughs> Yuan, Yuan, I thought, Yuan, I thought everyone on this show is your friend. Shouldn't you just announce it? Your, your special discount code. There you go. No, yes. Okay, so if you key in for PCOM only, or one word, for PCOM only, you get it at $50 instead of for the FO, $79. FOR or for FOR? FOR, yes. For okay. yeah. PCOM only. Nice, right. nice, nice. Maybe our, our right, studio manager can, can add whispering. that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, but it's good. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's coming in two weeks' time. Uh, is, is, I think I heard Sean say hybrid. So will there be any physical portion for the for the for that the for at least the kickoff week? So because it is uh, because of the COVID threat, what we are doing is that we are limiting the incoming into Penang, oh. uh, but we are opening up quite a fair bit of opportunities for Penangites to be a participant properly in this space. Yes, correct. So having said that, it is really important um, that we make sure that there is no tech fest cluster. Uh, mm. What we are trying to do to make sure is that the participants that are coming on board are quality ones. The yep. ones who are really contributing to the discussion and the ones who could take the discussion further. After all, we have to remember, uh, because of the pandemic, we are a three years program. So it shouldn't just be limited to thinking that, oh, if it's, if it's not, you know, if it's not a physical event, then if it's yep. a webinar of sort, it's not a mm. webinar of sort. I can assure you because of the kind of stuff that we're doing and we're building the platform from scratch. So this is going to be amazing. I want to be able to say that we are going to target to be even better than Web Summit. And Web Summit is wow. right. Absolutely. Let me, let me I, love, the, uh, I love the scale of your uh, the scale of your ambition. I love it. Good. Yeah. Always, so, Tara. Uh, let me also add something. Okay, I think the, the, the this time we talk about the speakers, the content. Really, this is also a work. Uh, 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 awards night, okay. Uh, the, oh. the, the BCIT uh, Innovation Award for 2020 will be given away 
okay, uh, on the second day, on the 19th, okay, this actually, uh, I think we have a few hundred submissions, you know, from all around the world, oh. and the judges, are all, yeah, the oh, judges wow. are all reputable judges from uh, from the PC magazine, all these are, are, are global <laughs> judges, and Malaysia won some key awards as well, okay. Yes, we won, Malaysia oh. won. So yeah, you have so, to tune in to check out what we're talking about. We will come to Malaysia Bole. We are Malaysia also Bole, doing yeah. featured innovations from around the world. So if you want to know right. the latest innovations from around the world, this is a program you want to catch. So we are okay. doing, on Astro itself, we're doing a home shopping kind of experience. But mm. instead of selling a bag or a quali or a shoe or mm -hmm. you know, pet or whatever, we are talking about technology. So oh. the idea here is for you to understand, oh, you mean even for that, there's a solution? Yes, there are solutions. So now the question you need to be asking is, what is your contribution? What are you yeah. solving? What is the problem that you are solving? So if we can get all Malaysians to think that way, can you imagine how much more further Malaysia Powerful. is going to grow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, right. We also oh, have right. a components. I, I was sorry, Sean. Hi. Hold, hold on, Sean. Sean have, has a couple more things. We also oh, have a ahead. component on our smart city. Okay, I think a social and a future smart city will be a key highlight. And uh, the mayor of uh, Georgetown, okay, Dr. Yu, will be hosting, but hundreds of, um, I mean, uh, a hundred mayors, of, yes, of mayors, hundreds mayors around, uh, from the country, the world, uh, around the world. Around the world. On, on discuss how to how to make the uh, all the city a better place to live, okay. And nice. I think uh, quite exciting, okay. A lot of things are coming together. And last thing, we also have somebody from NASA, okay, talks about mm -hmm. space, okay. How do you uh, rent space? How do you rent space and your co-working space shouldn't be on earth anymore let's talk about outer space how about that so that conversation will be headed by um douglas comstock nice. the deputy cfo of nasa so if you miss that alama <laughs> yeah okay so it looks like everybody's going to be there i wonder if donald trump he might have some time on his hands you can invite yeah. him also you know, potentially. Uh, um, <laughs> we will invite him in the court you will not invite okay. him the title is i was robbed and he'll definitely come because he wants to talk about it i was robbed <laughs> no, so, actually, so I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to actually the, I'm looking forward to this session uh, experiential tech especially this lady Ariel Garten who's uh, some founder of something called the brain sensing headband yes it's a wearable it's an amazing yeah. wearable and Ariel is actually uh, um, she's gotten like beyond CA uh, funding already and she's already on her journey to make um, the wearable uh, a part of the a FDA approval uh, process wow. So it is really thinking about how that wearable can really help your mind um, deal with a lot of health issues from mental illness to um, uh, being able to sleep, for example. So it's really amazing innovation that we're talking about. And they are also offering uh, really good deals for you to try out, for you to test promote them yourself. Fantastic. So these are things that um, TechFest is doing. And I really think uh, for anything if you don't have money well check out astro if you have money buy the tickets for pcom only fantastic fantastic no, 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 no. so, so I, I want, i'm know. hoping that a headphone now roshan is turban friendly because doesn't look like you can wear if you got a turban so i want to give up <laughs> no, you, you, you cannot leave you you your jabra no no totally you can wear jabra, even with turban. i asked her already okay. so how are well, asian or can so, the, the, lots of messages coming in. Um, you know, we've got, we've got, uh, but mostly it's like we miss you, Yuan. You know, all this. Uh, nobody says Miss Karam or Miss me. You know, uh, and then Ganesh is like, where are you partying, Yuan? What was? Oh and then God. there's some bro, there's some bromance happening here. You know, hey, long time no see. And then uh, he say yo yo yo. You know, lots of bromance. Okay then. Okay, there's one high rush. Yeah, okay, so. you. <laughs> <laughs> Karam, nobody's interested in you, lah. Sorry, mate. Well, hey, <laughs> no, but, I'm, I, I'm very happy. I'm interested in our guests only. Okay, they've got amazing okay. stuff to share. As no, always. I also yeah, want uh, to say. Okay. I mean, we we're doing it in Penang, right? So the idea of Penang with a great food and yeah. great beach and great place. If you're not there, you're definitely square. Okay, Spot there you on, go. Man. Exactly. All right. Right. And. And you know, you know, one of the things we subject our guests to is uh, is called the test the guest challenge, lah. Uh, so Nguyen and Dato uh, Sean, both of you need to quickly answer a couple of questions, lah. Just very quickly. You pretend your reception not good now. Just say sorry, sir. I cannot hear you, Roshan. Okay, I gotta go. Thank you. Go, go. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm warning and if you. you cannot. <laughs> and if you cannot answer them, don't worry. If you cannot answer them, 
Karam will answer them on your behalf, so don't worry, okay? No, so, no, but no, then, no. you know, just very quickly. No, 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 okay. So, so we we have a test. Okay. Uh, so, question number one, uh, very quick. If you had a time machine and could change one thing in the past, what would it be? When uh, I'm going to take the place of Donald Trump, not Donald Trump, All the president, right. but I'm the president. Oh. All right. So, President of America, <laughs> Sean, you want to answer this or you want to skip? <laughs> I skip this one. All right, skip this one. Okay. Question number two. When you think of tech talk, what is the first thing that comes to mind? They never heard of tech talk before, lah. <laughs> they, they only heard. Of... <laughs> now Sean, we go ahead. <laughs> what was what's first thing coming to mind, Sean? Russian. Ah. Oh, I'm honest. I'm... Yo, you're going to be called again as a guest. I predict the future. You're going to be called again. <laughs> as a guest. We're going to talk about uh, you know all your your super stuff that you're doing uh, and your great investments. Okay, uh, Yuan, what what comes to mind? Um. Well. Uh... <laughs> Tech, technology, technology okay. conversations. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, question number three. We'll, we'll move on. No, if you could switch your profession without any consequence, what would you be now? U.S. Minister president. Finance. Minister of Finance. Uh, sorry, Sean, I didn't hear you. What you said? U.S. President. Oh, U.S. U.S. President. Oh, everybody wants to be a U.S. President. What's happening? Okay, uh, number four. Never mind. Do you want to be president of the red U.S. or the blue U.S. or the entire U.S.? US. He wants to be independent, independent. Joe, 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 Joe. Okay, name one person you'd like to switch lives with right now. I totally know. Joe, Joe Biden. Wow. Joe Biden. Wow. Uh, I thought you okay, okay. Kamala for you. Joe Biden for me. <laughs> you also Joe Biden, Sean. No, 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 no. <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Oh, Elon Musk. Right. And last one, last one, very simple. Tell us your most embarrassing tech malfunction. Ooh, look at the face, man. Karen's <laughs> gonna answer that. Very good shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear. I hear. <laughs> so, so uh, one of our guests say his biggest tech malfunction is Karamjit Singh. So, <laughs> so okay, never mind. <laughs> That's Ganesh, right? Um, okay, so uh, one of you, quick. Any text, text? I'm sure there's been. No, a, they couldn't hear. Reception was bad, lah. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to answer that. All right, so we'll change that question for next week, lah. No, but thanks a lot. You've been, uh, you've been uh, fantastically uh, sporting, and uh, you know, everyone, I, I, you know, highly recommend go to that website right now, and there's that special promo code only on Tech Talk. You yeah. get for Picom only, techfest.my. Use that promo code, and you will get some. Money off the table, right? You get a dollars, discount. Right? Yeah. Fifty US dollars. There you go. That's it. You know, um, and and uh, if you got a lot of people sign up, you know, you're gonna give us some commission, right? For for <laughs> helping you drive the sales. <laughs> uh, but 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 thank you so much. We're gonna do a, a segment of, uh, of 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 tech sales before we end. I I just want to take your uh, a quick nugget of wisdom, uh, from maybe Sean first. You know, if you were to give advice to our listeners and our viewers out there. Um, you know, whatever, whatever advice that you can, you would impart, whether it's technology or whether it's investment, uh, as you have been investing, uh, or, or in other spaces, what sort of advice would you leave with our guests? I think just now, uh, the, the beginning of this session, uh, Benson, when while well, Benson is on, was on the stage, and a lot of things came to my mind, and a lot, a lot of discussion talking about monetization on the investment, how to bring exit to investment. I think in nowadays, during the pandemic, a lot of people are facing challenges. In terms of expanding the business, with a few exceptions, like people like doing e-commerce are doing very well, but a lot of businesses are facing a lot of challenges in terms of bringing cash, you know, bringing in uh, uh, business into the uh, in, uh, business into the the company. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, I think is rather is it's very important to find the right partner to give the right advice. Okay, I can say uh, my my line of business today, you know, like uh, Roshan, as you are aware of, you know, we provide mm -hmm. advice advisory consultancy for people to help how to tap into capital market and also how to raise funds. I think it's important uh, to actually find the right partners and bring the mm. business through the hurdles. Okay. I, that's and and and, and 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 I think you're doing a fantastic job helping a lot of uh, organizations to really raise capital in, in this very tough time. So Ooh. that's uh you know uh, shout out to uh, Dr. Sean Xia for for the work that he and his team do. Uh Yuan, you know what uh, final thoughts from you? So I think, you know, time is tough, but time is tough for everyone. Yeah. So hang in there, really hang in there. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you just need to hang in there. Don't Ooh. give up. It's really a bad time to give up now because if you do, I think the what is is going to come haunt you for the rest of your mm. life. So just hang yeah. in yeah. there. 
you can do and, it. And you know, speaking of tough times, uh, you know, NGOs and charities are also facing a lot of tough times now. Yes. A lot of found, a lot of NGOs are suffering. And and one of the things that we are doing is uh, here in Malaysia is to try and raise funds for some of these NGOs uh, in partnership with some of the greatest uh, speakers in the world, people like Jack Canfield and and Immaculate, who was a, a, a best-selling New York Times author uh, uh, featured with by Oprah and, and many others, right? So they have all come together and say, let's raise some funds to give specifically to Malaysia, to Cambodia, to Southeast, Southeast Asian Asia. NGOs. Yeah, and, and so I'm going to show a quick video uh, as we close out this segment uh, on Bounce Back Summit, another great opportunity to support um, local NGOs. And I was burned almost to death. 60% of my body burned. You'd never want to experience that. Well, the pressure's really on now for John Register from the USA. 5.57, the mark to beat. It is your choice to jump. The best thing that ever happened to David was Goliath. Ask not what happens to you, but what can you learn from those situations that's going to make you even stronger, that is going to make you even smarter. Because the person has to make that individual commitment themselves. Less for self, more for others, and enough for all. And there that you go, it bounced back summit. Oh, that's so yeah. nice. Bounced back summit, 100% of the proceeds. Uh, it's a leadership development program for 15 weeks. 100% of the proceeds are going to go to charities across Southeast Asia. Go to bouncebacksummit.org and check it out. So that's our, our, our bit we can do for building communities. And you know, tech, tech Talk has a heart, right? We, we're not just technology. We're also yeah, here yeah. to make a difference in communities. So with that, I'm going to go go to the bearded man. Um, and, and we're going to have final thoughts from Mr. Beard himself. Uh, Karamjit. Oh, when, uh, Yuan, you're asking me to cut, cut the beard. Uh, cut, cut the beard. You will never let you cut it. You will never cut it. He's saying, he's saying, I, I, I saw, <laughs> oh, is it come to be like, I thought it was like, cut the beard, cut the beard. <laughs> well, you so, Mr. Well, beard, hey, Samson, Samson had his long hair. I've got my beard, man. Cannot. Okay, but the woman my finally power, got, got Samson. My, my, the woman my finally chi, got my Samson. Chi, my zen comes from this, my force. <laughs> <laughs> so, for, Karan, final thoughts for the for the, for the the week as we uh, close up. I the guess, show, uh, uh, no, no, look, there, uh, actually, uh, uh, tomorrow, I, I'm going uh, to have a, a fi at 5 p.m., I'm going to have a live stream because of the budget, right? It just happened. And I've, I've got uh, uh, three three guests coming on to give their thoughts on what they thought about the budget, yeah? And, and specifically for how it affects digital uh, Malaysia. So at, at 5 p.m. tomorrow, you can listen to that. I think you can check our Facebook and LinkedIn for the for the login details. So that's going to be interesting. But in terms of this, I think uh, just already a huge shout. Uh, what a coincidence, uh, uh, Sean is the investor into uh, Benson. So like, I think, but I think, uh, uh, I think what is important is what uh, uh, Ngai Yuan said, is that do not uh, give up. Very important, yeah. right? Uh, because okay. you only fail when you give up. And interesting, yesterday I was reading something. Somebody said the same thing. You only fail when you actually give up. And remember, Benson there also was on the verge of giving up, but he right. didn't. He persisted. And look where he is today, six years later, right? Yeah, he's got a, he's, he's, he's on the up. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's, that's, it's all that's about important. resilience and grit. And, yep. and, and, and so we, we're going to end with a final thought from Ganesh Kumar Banga, who <laughs> says, yeah, man, let's get Karam to cut his beard in Penang. So let's do that, right? That's going to be part of uh, the Tech Fest. You know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be the, the <laughs> highlight of Tech Fest. You know? hey, hey, we will do this. At the, at the, when people meet each other, they just do like that. Like, about that? Everybody's wondering, what is that about? <laughs> Karam, you can, you can donate all the money that people will pay to, to see your beard cut. We can donate all the money to charities in Penang. Let's go for it. You know, It's a, it's a special, special uh, Tech Fest. Uh, oh, I'm, up right. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go. And Jen will personally do it, right? Ganesh will, Ganesh will provide the scissors, you know. <laughs> so there you have it, you know. Okay, so and and, and don't forget bounce back. Uh, you can you can sign up. There's a free picky cup session at, at, at this side. So with that, thank you very much. Uh, and and uh, uh, we're gonna sign up for now. Uh, Tech yep. Talk Friday. Uh, appreciate all our guests that has been with us. Thank you, um, Sean. Thank you, Yuan. Thank and you. thank you, Benson, for making this an uh, exciting show. This is Tech Talk Friday. Thank you for being with us. We'll be back next week, 7 p.m., same time, same place, hopefully with other guests. So we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, Bye. everybody. Goodbye.